Hello friends, do you know what is a noun? Nouns are classified into different types. Proper noun, common noun, concrete noun, abstract noun, countable noun, uncountable noun, compound noun, collective noun, singular noun, plural noun, positive noun, material noun. Here are examples of noun. Proper noun, David, Asia, Sun, Mount Everest, Pacific Ocean, etc. Common noun, men, country, mountain, ocean, book, etc. Concrete noun, ship, town, table, vehicle, whale, wings. Abstract noun, ability, calm, death, faith, joy, skill, sacrifice. Countable noun, apple, peanuts, monkey, orange, mouse. Uncountable noun, salt, sand, sugar, water, meat, coffee. Compound noun, airport, classroom, eardrum, doorway. Collective noun, colony, badge, joy, organization, singular noun, bird, pen, shirt, army, fork, candy, plural noun, birds, pens, shirts, armies, forks, candies, possessive noun, dogs, children, James, material noun, iron, coal, water, sugar, oil, glass. Next is countable noun. Countable nouns are those nouns that can easily be counted. The majority of nouns can be categorized in the countable noun list which includes people, things, animals or objects which can easily be counted. For some nouns which are unique and also singular, they prefer at the beginning. For example, the spider has 8 legs. Put all the 5 bottles of cold drinks in the refrigerator. His brother purchased a car from the showroom this morning. Next is uncountable noun. Uncountable nouns are those nouns that are uncountable or cannot be counted easily. These nouns are called mass nouns. In certain things like milk, salt, water, rice, sun rays, etc that are uncountable in numbers are called uncountable noun to count such things we use some words along with it like a full glass of milk a cup filled with sugar a water bottle a snack of rice a packet of salt etc because these things cannot be counted can be measured in specific quantities Uncountable nouns do not have any singular or plural forms. Examples like swimming pool has plenty of water at this time. Put some extra cheese on my pizza. Let's get rid of uh, critical situations. Masculine and feminine nouns. Masculine nouns are those nouns uh, of male gender including persons, animals. For example, king, boy, man, clock, horse, lion, tiger dog etc a masculine noun a feminine nouns are such nouns include females include persons animals for example queen girl woman hen duck tigers and etc are feminine nouns singular and plural nouns the nouns that can be categorized by the number are called singular and plural nouns. Singular noun has single number or quantity of a person, place, thing or an idea. For example, boy, car, man, beach, etc. are singular nouns. A plural noun is a word representing more than one person, place, thing or idea. A plural noun comes in a sentence where we have represent more than one quantity. For example, boy, car, man, beach, etc. are singular noun. Plural noun is a word representing more than one person, place, thing or idea. The plural noun comes in a sentence where we have represent more than one quantity of anything. For that, we don't, don't have to add any other word in a sentence, just adding S or ES on that particular word which is going to be plural. For example, boys, girls, dogs, animals, beaches, etc.